Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to A Living Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monet, and before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone, so this week, Cardi B celebrated her 31st birthday, and she did tease a new song that may be coming out soon. And I will say, I'm gonna hold my full opinion until the song comes out. Now speaking of Cardi B and new music, Offset did drop a new album and Cardi B was featured on the single called Freaky. And fans did notice that Cardi B's verse did sound similar to something that they've heard before. Now Cardi did go on to say this in her verse. Hella freaky, Diamond W. P clean, Bella squeaky. B bad, Bella Gigi. Now fans did feel like Cardi B was recycling lyrics from Nicki Minaj's previous songs. Nicki Minaj was featured on the song Why You Mad with Birdman and Lil Wayne, and Nicki did go on to say this in her verse. This P clean, this P squeaky. In her verse in LLC, she did go on to shout out Bella and Gigi Hadid. She did go on to say in her verse, that's word to Bella Gigi. Now it's really truly no shade, but it does seem like Cardi B did use some of Nicki Minaj's old lyrics in her new single with her husband Offset. And it's not surprising, Cardi B is not the first artist to do so. Lotto has also been caught using Nicki's lyrics several times in different songs, so it's not really shocking when you see female artists do it. People in hip hop often use other people's lyrics and switch it up and do different things with it, but it looks weird with Cardi B and Lotto not liking Nicki but recycling her lyrics. That's a little tea to me, but moving along to the next topic. Okay everyone, so we all know Megan Thee Stallion has recently made her return back to music when she did feature on Cardi B's single called Bongo. And a lot of people were shocked, including myself, that Megan will make her come back to music with Cardi B and wondered when she would drop her own solo music. And it does look like she will be dropping new music very soon. And she recently went live on Instagram to talk about her upcoming projects. And if you didn't hear what she had to say, take a listen. This part of my album is definitely very much funded by Megan Thee Stallion because you know we trying to get off <laughs> y'all know y'all know y'all know what's the tea um but I have no label right now and we're doing everything funded straight out of Megan Thee Stallion pockets so the budget is coming from me hot girl productions hot girl productions the next I'm about to see about to be all straight from Megan Thee Stallion Megan Thee Stallion brain Megan Thee Stallion wallet it's we in my pockets, hotties. So let's do our big one. Because <laughs> we really doing our big one. And I'm so excited to be doing something for the first time independent since me, it was just me and my mama. So excited because it's really just me this go round until we sign to a new label. But I don't want to sign to a new label right now uh, because... I just want to do it myself until I'm completely hot girl, produ hot girl productions. Until I'm completely out of Megan the Stallion production. So how do you do your big one? Cause it's just us. It's just us. It's just us. Now I do find it interesting that 1501 is not helping Megan the Stallion in any way because technically she is still signed to their label, but. I am looking forward to seeing new music from Megan Thee Stallion. It has been a good minute since she dropped her own solo music, so I do want to hear if she does talk about the Tory Lanez trial and her new music, or just hearing new music from Megan is good as well, because she is a good rapper, but at a certain point, she was starting to sound the same, and the flow was not changing, and in my opinion, she needed better beats, so I do hope she comes with something new, but... You let me know how you feel about these topics down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video. And until next time, bye.